so now it's just finished uh, flashing and it's going to start up The first time it starts up, it will take a while because it's uh, doing all the stuff in the background. And the, the first time you start using the phone, um, you might notice some lag as it does all that background stuff again. Um, it does the lag does go away. So you'll see that uh, it's got English Canada. And then it'll walk you through the basic steps of setting up your phone. Um, I wasn't able to get it to automatically set the Rogers APN, so you just manually enter it in. And 3G does work. Keys and keyboard. It's going to actually pop up something to ask you to sign into Rogers or quick setup. Um, so this is accept to try to use the automatic. Timescape and mediascape. Uh, choose Rogers. Connections, SIM, wireless network, your Google account, uh, Sony Ericsson Sync, and finish. Could not retry, uh, could not download, so yeah, it can't connect. So I'm just going to set up the Roger settings manually. So it couldn't pick up the setting. So it couldn't pick up the settings automatically, so I'm going to put in the Rogers APN manually. So go into settings, wireless and networks, mobile networks, access point names, and you'll see the list is empty, so create a new one. We'll call it Rogers. Everything's blank except for go down to MMSC, HTTP, colon slash slash MMS dot GPRS dot Rogers dot com. Oops. You can see the new Android keyboard that allows you to do corrections easier. APN Rogers Core APPL one dot APN MMS proxy is ten dot one two one two eight dot one dot sixty nine MMS port is eighty And then everything else is the same. 302, 720, and save. As soon as you save, you should see the three the bars, and you should be getting a 3G or an H, depending on your coverage. And you are now online.